Hi guys, welcome to the Kitchen Muse YouTube channel. My name is Buki. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications on when I post new videos. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make grilled salmon with mashed potatoes and veggies. If you'd like to see how I do that, don't go away. First thing I'm going to do is to season my salmon because I'm going to leave that for about 30 minutes to marinate. For my grilled salmon, I'm going to use melted butter. I'm going to season this with some curry powder. Just a little bit, that's about half a teaspoon. I'm going to use my good old Old Bay. Depending on the quantity of fish, or depending on how big, the fish is um, <clears throat> that's what's going to determine how much seasoning of course that you use so you can eyeball it and do as you wish this is just something um, that I'm doing for my because I'm using these two slim pieces of salmon so I'm gonna put some parsley in there I'm going to use my good old onion powder Some garlic powder and some honey about a tablespoon of honey it's going to form this nice glaze over the top when it's done so I'll mix this all together now Feel free to add um, extra pepper if you want it spicy. You can use um, chili flakes if you have that. That's really, really good. So I'll just spoon this over the salmon. So this is the marinade for my salmon. I'm going to leave this for about 30 minutes to marinate and then I'm going to get on with my potatoes for the mash. For my mashed potatoes, I've already washed my potato, I've already peeled and washed my potatoes and I've cut them into equal sizes. This is very important because it will allow the potatoes to cook evenly. Um, so that you don't get some soft and some not completely done and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to pour that in a pot and cover it with water. This is just regular cold water and I'll add some salt. I'm going to cook this now until it's very very soft until it's almost falling apart even. Now it's very important to cook your potatoes to very soft. I went to a restaurant the other day and I ordered, um, I think it was lamb chops and mash, and the mash was really bad. I know mashed potatoes can be tricky, but once you know what to do, it's not that difficult. I think the worst thing you can serve at a restaurant, and a good restaurant at that, is terrible mashed potatoes. What was wrong with it was, it was really hard. I don't know if there was any cream in it, if there was any butter in it, I don't know, but it was really, really hard. In fact, I could mold it and eat soup with it. That's how hard it was. But I'm going to get my potatoes going now and cook it till it's really, really soft, about 15, 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to cut my vegetables. I'm going to cut them and just leave them because they don't take a long time to steam and I'm, I just want to steam them. But I'll just cut them while I'm waiting for the other things to cook and just. For my steamed veg, I'm only using broccoli, carrots and green beans feel free to add whatever veggies that you like 
um, that part is really up to you but this is all I have so this is all I'm using so I'll just cut this into smaller bits and I'll steam them so you guys during the week I started watching this show called Top Boy and I really, really, really love it. I don't know if you guys watch, um, if you watch TV or if you watch um, series on Netflix. This is on Netflix and it's so good. The first day I started watching it, I watched five episodes. Thankfully it was on a Sunday and I didn't have much to do. I watched five episodes of it. I couldn't take my eyes off it until of course the baby started crying because um, he was napping at the time. Well, for a while. Um, so I watched Top Boy and that was so good. I even forgot to watch Power. That's my favorite TV show by the way. And I forgot to watch, um, I forgot to catch up on Power only for me to go on Instagram and people are dropping spoilers who killed Ghost and I still haven't seen it and I'm really upset because now I know Ghost died or at least someone tried to kill Ghost. That's not good for me. I hate it when people spoil, spoil the shows that I'm watching. Don't you just, don't you just hate that? Don't you hate when it happens? Anyway. So yeah, let me know if you've watched Top Boy or if you're watching Top Boy. If you watch Power also, that's one of my favorites. And oh yeah, How to Get Away with Murder is back and I'm watching that one also. I wonder how I have time to watch all these things. But I make time for the things I like. So that's my green beans done. I didn't cut them too small so that they steam in the same time that the carrot and the broccoli will steam. So um, I'm not a big fan of broccoli but I eat it. I eat it because it's good for you. How many things do we eat that we don't really like but we eat them because they're good for us and they're pretty. I think they're pretty. So, I like to cook them. I like to see them in my food because of how they look. And of course, they're good for you, so why not? So, I haven't washed any of this. I'm going to cut them and wash them before I steam them, of course. And for the steaming, I'm going to then pour them in cold water, let it come to a slow boil, which will take about two and a half minutes there, but then I'll turn it off. I'll add a little bit of butter and salt and black pepper and that's my steamed vegetable, nothing fancy. So that's for the broccoli. Pacing back and forth. Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here. All your shots have scored. No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. We fight. You guys saw my potatoes and are really soft and after I drain the water I put it back in the pot and just turn the heat down so that all the water really dries up and that's really important so you don't get any liquid in your potatoes um, my salmon is in the oven and it's grilling I'm going to grill that for 12 minutes and in the meantime I'm going to make this mashed potato this is all you need a potato masher if you don't have this you can use a fork but you may end up with um, little bits of potatoes which is fine um, but yeah so i'm going to work my muscles a bit are you standing right here all your shots have scored no scratching at the scars you left on my skin so here's me mashing the potatoes if you have a food processor you can do this in a food processor i've done it time and time again in my food processor but i just wanted to um show you guys this method because i know not everyone has a food processor and you can still make really really good mashed potatoes using just your fork so next i'm going to add some butter it may seem like a lot of butter but you need it in your mashed potatoes they're not the healthiest thing to eat so if you're going to eat mashed potatoes, just make it right. Next, I'm going to add some cream. If you don't have cream, you can use milk. Um, not too much. You don't want it runny, but you can always add it a little bit at a time so that you get your consistency, you get the consistency that you like. So my mash is ready, and this is exactly how I like it. 
proper runny or anything, but it's proper fluffy. And I'll just wait for my fish now. I'm going to go and steam my vegetable now so that everything will be ready at about the same time. This is my grilled salmon, mashed potatoes, and my veggie. It's a pretty simple recipe, and I hope that you guys will try it out. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to leave me your comments and suggestions in the comment section down below and I'll respond to them. Leave me your suggestions for any videos you want me to shoot next and I'll see what I can do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at The Kitchen Muse and on Facebook at The Kitchen Muse and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.